hello hopefully you are doing good sorry i could not able to post uh, anything in last two week because i was engaged in some more priority stuff so i will continue from this this week onwards so in this video we will talk about the delete command in splunk and we will try to see how this command works and 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 different restrictions of it and and we will see another one more stuff as well related to this one as well so what is a delete command so before before we jump into that command so this video will be part of the splunk fundamental 2 playlist it will be somewhere around let's say after fill null and fill down command i'll i'll put it over here okay now when we talk about the delete command so as the name suggest so this command is actually helpful for deleting events or basically if i just say very precisely it basically what it do is it mark event for the deletion that means it's kind of a soft delete so when you mark an event for deletion what will happen for subsequent searches that event will not come into picture and if and this this particular operation is irreversible that means once you mark an event as for deletion you need to re-index that event again so that it will re if you want to use that particular see that particular event again okay so there is no way you can undelete it so that's the thing we need to know and the most important thing is that so as it is not removing events permanently it is just marking the event for the deletion so it it basically does not reclaim any disk uh, d basically disk space over here okay now to use delete command so first thing is you need to have the corresponding roles and capabilities to do that so if i just show you for the roles if we just go to settings first we will see the roles so the role you need is the can underscore delete role and if i just see this particular role so it has a capability called delete by keyword so you need to have at least this capability to delete or any event over here okay and by default admin user also do not have this role assigned so you need if your admin user do not have this role so you need to assign this one first so i already assigned this one if i just go to settings and users under admin user so i have assigned this one from here like available items i just clicked it over here it will come over here just like we assign any other role so once you do that you will be able to delete any event from splunk now how to delete it so the command is delete it's a very simple command now there are a couple of restrictions we need to follow it over here so first i will show you the very simple syntax over here so to delete an event first what you will be doing you will be selecting an event and how you'll be doing it you'll be running a search over here so let's say i want to delete an event with id this one 18491 so i am just working with my tmdb index so if you are following my video so i have created one app called tmdb app so over there we were indexing some movies data correct so with that data itself i just have filtered with id 18491 and i i just want to delete this particular event so how you'll be doing it i will be running a command call delete after filtering that particular data i'll just run the delete command over here so if i just press enter so what will be happening if i have necessary access and privileges so it will the delete will be successful and it will it will say basically from which index you have deleted and how many number of events you have deleted over here with the splunk server so once we did that if i just search it again this particular event will not be shown up over here now okay so for this from the subsequent searches that particular event will not be shown up at all now whenever you are in the clustered environment so this delete may take certain amount of time to replicate 
basically from that particular to make that particular bucket as marked as deleted it may take certain amount of time so in between like if you are hitting that particular indexer so it may happen that it will still show you that particular data after deletion as well so you need to keep in mind that one now let's talk about the restrictions first of all uh, the delete command has to be it basically you'll be running the delete command on the indexes which are events so if i just go to let me show you that one if i just go to settings and indexes and there if you have remember we have two different types of events right the events and the matrices index so you can run delete command only with those index which have the type of events you cannot run delete command with the matrices index over here second thing is you cannot run delete command on the real time searches so if i just go back over here if this particular search is real time search you cannot run this one so it will you will get definitely an error over here third thing is that if your search query have centralized streaming commands you won't be able to delete that one as well now if you are not sure about what is centralized streaming commands i have created one video let me show you that one as well in the splunk fundamental 2 i have a video called different categories of spl command so you can see that one but for now so centralized streaming command is basically it is a streaming command but which applies the transformation on the data like head or stats or stream stats something like that one but not the stats the stream stats over here okay now if you just read this maybe i will give this particular link as well in my video description so a distributable streaming command is basically it's basically work on each and every event over here and it runs on indexer or or the search head right now the centralized streaming command mostly runs on the search head over here but it also apply a transformation on the event so let's let's test it out over here so let's say i just delete this one and i will run this guy over here now let's say i just run head head 10 over here so once i do that and if i just want to run the delete command now now delete so ideally i should be getting an error over here this command cannot be invoked after the command this one which is not a distributable streaming commands so it say sorry it should, should be h e a d so i should be getting the same similar error itself so so it's because it's not say distributable streaming command it's a centralized streaming command so that's why the delete operation was failed over here so i'll go back over here let's take a distributable streaming command example probably add info this is a distributable streaming command correct so i can do something like this one so add info i already discussed so let's say over here in my tmdb index i just add add info or before that maybe i just i do not want to delete all the data so let's filter out on the id let's say this particular id 21848 and if i just run another command called add info so what will happen basically it adds the data over here like info max time info min time this this particular fields over here correct so now as this is a distributable streaming command i can run delete command on top of it over here okay so delete so if i just do that i am able to delete that particular event as well from here so these things you need to keep in mind now what if you want to permanently delete that this particular event data from your index so how you will be doing it because as as i told like delete in deleting and particular event will basically you will not be able to clean up that space occupied by by that particular event correct so to clean up the space of uh, from a particular index so you need to use the clean command but you need to do it from the splunk cli so let's see that one so 
to use that clean command so again this operation is irreversible that means once you delete that you won't be able to get back your data so you need to be very much cautious regarding this one okay so first thing you need to do is from your splunk home bin folder as i am inside my splunk home bin folder i will run splunk stop first okay so you need to run the splunk stop command first it will basically stop splunk so once splunk is stopped so you can run this particular command like splunk clean event data okay now if you just run this one it will clean from all the indexes to specify a particular index let's say i want to delete from the tmdb underscore index so i will give a input called index tmdb underscore index here okay so now once we do that if i just run this one it will say this action will permanently it has all events from your index this one so it cannot be undone are you sure if you want to do if you say yes so it will basically remove all the data from your tmdb index so now once you start the splunk now we will see that once you start splunk so once the sp once splunk is started let's log in over here to check whether our tmdb index is showing up any data or not so if i just remove this one and let's let's do it for all time as well try to see wh what we have any data or not so we have zero events over here so that means we reclaim the space occupied by the previous data from our index over here okay so this is how the delete command works and if you want to delete basically if you want to delete permanently all the data and reclaim the space you need to use the splunk clean command otherwise it will the delete command basically mark the event as deleted so that subsequent searches will not be able to retrieve that or show that basically event from in your search result okay so hopefully this video was helpful see you in the next video